God damn, what a great match. <laughs> what a great, 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 great match. I want to know how soon we can get the belt on Takeshita. And when we say the belt, I mean any belt. Put a championship on this man right now. Well. Mm -hmm. Bless you, sir. Now Mom. he's Big Bill. <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, is it? I think it's better than W. Morrissey. No, eh, it's not. No. W. Yeah. W. Yeah. W. Morrissey. And this fucking ref starts spewing goo. What's oh, funny no. is it might have been an actual bullshit finish. She might have had bullshit coming out of the referee's mouth. Well, I... I don't know what it was. I hope we got a bonus. It was black goo. The fucking goo, goo is back. Goo? You heard me. Actually, this is not, this is not goo. This is goo. If you can do this, why not just do it to your opponent? No shit. Hi, Craig. I don't know why we had a random shot of Craig. He's been frozen there the whole time. So, uh, well, we don't see it till he just. Uh, I've seen. Maybe time, you but. said spewing goo and put that picture of Craig up. He got Perfect. Attention. Perfect. Now, that is worth your uh, however much this video service costs. It was significantly better than I expected it to be. They were downright fun matches. Apollo was actually like power bombing him left and right, like Thor was doing a Loki in the first Avengers movie, or maybe Hulk was doing a Loki in the first Avengers movie. I just made a thousand dorks cry out in anguish. World famous television star mm. Brian Alvarez here on the show today. What's going on, Granny? No audio. You just, her? There, there she, she is. is. That was Brian's fault. If Brian had one of his arms ripped off during a wrestling match and told you he wanted to replace it with a giant candy cane, would you support him? Oh, that's crazy. Granny, if The Undertaker was coming to Christmas dinner, what would you make to impress him? You could start off in the morning with some coffin cake. Lee Revel wants to know, what was the last joke you heard before this show started? <laughs> All right, everybody stick your finger up in the air. Twirl it around. Twirl it around. Knock, knock. Who's there? Woo. Woo-hoo. Thank you. I don't get it. <laughs> Do you have any good Christmas recipes to share? No. <laughs> Thank God. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. The Usos took advantage, cutting Butch off a of Seamus. The Siamese twins? Niall Levers. Lever. Lever. L E E R O. N I O A L. L U E R O. N I. Niall Luero? Who in God's name is Niall Luero? I don't know. What keeps flashing on her screen, by the way? Is that the fiend? Oh, man. Uh -oh. Granny's going to become possessed. I have and another question. Spewing out of her. <clears throat> That's this person all I thinks have. maybe Granny's Uncle Howdy. That's why this thing keeps flashing onto her screen. Hmm. That would make me interested in that storyline, let me tell you. If Granny turned out to be Uncle Howdy. And I'm watching Vince Man in 1993 when he watches uh, Bam Bam try to grope a woman who not, does not want to be groped. Macho Man Randy Savage then adds, I hope the attorneys don't get mixed up in this. To which, as God is my witness... Vince McMahon says, oh, you can bet they will. Ha, 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 ha. My brain melted. In storyline, Tony's determined to kill these guys. Like, <laughs> you know, we've got four matches. Somehow you've all gotten through four without getting hurt. So we're going to make sure one of you is dead by the end. You were gone all summer. Now it's time we're to gonna, die. We're going to make it harder as it goes along here. Yeah. W. Morrissey is, is far worse than Big Bill. No, it's not, though. His first name was a letter. Like, if my name was, uh, you know... I don't know, urethra, Wayne. right? I'm not going to call myself urethra Alvarez. It'd be you Alvarez. I'm not going to let him know the U, the U stands for. You're embarrassed. So obviously the W must stand for something embarrassing. Suddenly they're interrupted by Sky Blue, who cut a promo straight out of NXT. Between the delivery and the hat, I thought I was watching Cora Jade. You're pretty good at talking. I'm not doing anything on Friday. I'll see you. At Rampage, Action Andretti pinned Chris Jericho. And the most obvious comparison here that everyone jumped to is Razor Ramon versus the 1-2-3 kid 30 years ago. And uh, this was totally different. Razor Ramon beat the crap out of the 1-2-3 kid for about two and a half minutes, made one mistake, ate one move, 
and got beat. Action Andrade had a match with QT on a dark elevation taping. Jericho saw it, had wanted to do this idea, and he told Tony, sign this guy. He's got a plan for this action Andretti here. This was a perfect wrestling match. There's not one thing about this match I would change. It was phenomenal. And MJF finally felt like a world champion here. I'm waiting for him to do the spot where you do the abdominal stretch and you put the thumb up the guy's ass. You know this one? That's coming. And then you do it again. Oh, the uh, Carino. And then the third time, the guy stops it. And puts the thumb in your or mouth. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. got to be next, right? Brian Danielson returns. Comes out to confront him, and he's pissed. And so MJF runs for his life. And uh, that show ended. What a great show that was. She went to a slumber party. She forgot to pack a change of clothes. Somebody poured juice on her. She had to sit there in wet, juicy clothes all night. Wendy Chu had something humiliating happen to her in adolescence. She's the only one. No, no, nothing bad ever, bad ever happened to any other 13-year-old ever. Only Wendy Chu. Didn't bad man have his, his parents killed? Yeah, his parents were yeah, killed in front then, of him. And then he became a vigilante, which you're not supposed to do. You're comparing juice but, to... But my point is, he he did it to the people that deserved it. Just like Wendy Chu. She's, he never killed anyone's she's parents. really just like Batman. You can't compare... We haven't gotten that far in the story yet. Parental murder to juice. Well, yeah. The virgin's all, hey, does his shirt fit? Seems like it's a little loose around the, the belly or whatever. I see. <laughs> Her side hustle is being eye candy. They find out that while she's going on TV and talking about being more than eye candy, she's actually making some eye candy. This makes them mad because they want her to be eye candy, candy, but not that much kind of eye candy. Well, 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 hold on a second. Right. We were getting to the point where this was not PG. No, okay? no, no, no. And so when they found out about that, it was like, this is not going to fly. So she was released on Tuesday, and all day Wednesday, all that was reported was... She was fired because her site became significantly more risque. I don't know nothing, but I would guess that she made a lot of money on Wednesday. Oh, I bet. I, I'd heard from people that she was making more on the side gig than she was making Utterly believable. in WWE. I've, yeah. There's a decent chance that she's not devastated. No. <laughs> and uh, Listen. She's going to be making a lot of money. Yeah. And at some point, you know, the time comes where she's not making that kind of money. I'm sure she could go back to wrestling. 